Jim Harbaugh will not be an honorary captain when he goes back to Michigan. Um, and that it looks like he is not going to back going to go oh. back to Michigan, as had been reported, as they were going to have a big deal with the returning conquerors. But the story here, reading from Pro Football Talk, um, the school last week said he would return to serve as honorary captain for their August 31st game against Fresno State Tuesday. However. Michigan says Harbaugh will not be there. He says that he wants to focus on the Chargers. <laughs> Interesting. 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 Um, the cynics will say, well, there's more dirty laundry being aired. He doesn't want to come back. Or Michigan saying we should probably yeah, not roll out the red this. carpet, yeah. considering everything <laughs> still hanging over our heads. There is also... There is also this angle. The Chargers didn't look good Saturday. Yeah. It is only the preseason. Yeah. It is only the preseason. And Justin Herbert, even if he had been healthy, wouldn't have been playing. Easton Stick, it was rough to watch. Um, and I will say, also say this. The Seahawks came out with a purpose. It is a different vibe. I was in that building yesterday and, and saw that practice and talked to Mike McDonald and Geno Smith and DK Metcalf and and uh, Julian Love and Tyler Lockett and John Schneider. Uh, it is a different vibe. That team played with a purpose that the other 31 teams did not have for the most part the first preseason weekend. Brand new head coach. They not only wanted to impress the new teacher, but that brand new head coach has them doing things with a purpose. Not a shot at Pete. Please don't read it, read it the wrong way. But uh, that team was focused that team played its starters defensively for the first two series and a lot of twos for a lot of the first half. Um, and that team dominated. Again, the preseason. Yeah, I said this yesterday uh, in Overreaction Monday, wondering your thoughts about the Chargers. Should they call Nick Foles? Mm, it depends how good they think they're going to be, and it depends how long they think – Justin Herbert is going to be out. If your idea is we need to save our season, we think this is a playoff team, then yeah. Then every week counts. Not saying they need to mail it in. But I'd, I'd have the conversation. I, I think the quarterback here. None of their quarterbacks look good, to be No, honest. none of them do. Um, I want to I get in the Olympic stuff. So real quick, and this is a conversation I had yesterday in Seattle. It's not Nick Foles. It's Ryan Tannehill. Oh, interesting. Ryan Tannehill is unsigned, and he is the name that kind of oh. hangs over everything here in the NFL. Quarterback yeah, injuries will that. happen. Yeah, interesting. They're inevitable. Yeah. Inevitable. 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 We've seen 60 inevitable. plus the last three years. There will be a team in October yeah. that it, it has a beeline for the playoffs that loses its quarterback. Last year, we saw plenty of them. Yep. Ryan Tannehill is in a great position. If he's staying in shape, and I, I assume he is, he can sit back. And he's the next guy up. He is this year's Joe Flacco. The phone will ring, and he has the opportunity to wait for the best call and the best offer and the best option. That may be in September. It may be in October. It may be in December. It depends how patient he wants to be and how badly he truly wants to get out there. But that's the guy right there. If I'm him... I don't answer the phone in August. Yeah, I wait. wait I wait. 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 Yeah. I, 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 not, not, not what I'm doing. I wait. I put my feet up. I stay in shape. And I wait. Because he's going to get a call. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel. 12 to 3 Eastern for free.